If you're anything like us, you're already planning your next trip somewhere sunny. Whether you're looking to stay in the States and travel across the country, or you're ready to dust off your passport for an international trip, we've got you covered with 20 Black-owned hotels, resorts, and bed and breakfasts. But first, welcome back to official Black Wall Street, the largest award-winning app and digital platform connecting you to the best in Black-owned products and services. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Aquaba Mansion, Brooklyn, New York. Whether you're in a relationship looking for a romantic getaway, traveling solo, or having a girl's trip, the Aquaba Mansion is a great place to consider staying. Small in size, but large in character, the mansion has four guest rooms, each uniquely decorated. Founded by Monique Greenwood, a former editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine, Aquaba Mansion was established as part of her vision to provide luxurious accommodations with unique cultural experience. Inspired by the hospitality of the African diaspora, Monique and her husband, Glenn, have expanded Aquaba into a series of bed and breakfasts across the U.S. But the Brooklyn location remains a gem known for its stunning restoration of an 1860s mansion in Stuyvesant Heights. The mansion is nestled in a tree-lined community surrounded by some of the borough's landmark brownstones. Anguilla Great House Beach Resort, Rendezvous Bay, Anguilla. Anguilla is a very small British territory in the Caribbean. So if you're looking to relax in the sun for a tropical vacation, you can head to Rendezvous Bay to visit the Anguilla Great House Beach Resort. Owned by Franklin Hughes, Anguilla Great House Beach Resort was founded as one of the first locally owned resorts in Anguilla. Hughes, a local entrepreneur, created the resort to offer a more authentic experience for tourists while preserving the island's charm and heritage. His passion for his island shines through in the resort's design, and it's perfect for travelers seeking an intimate Caribbean getaway. The hotel has access to the longest stretch of sand on the island, where you can peek across the sea at St. Martin. With local barbecue, live music, and the famous Dune Preserve ruling the area, you'll be guaranteed to have a great time here. Chicago South Loop Hotel, Chicago, Illinois. The Chicago South Loop Hotel is a sophisticated boutique hotel located in the Bronze District. This hotel is black owned and operated by local Chicago entrepreneurs who sought to provide a high quality boutique experience in the Bronzeville District. The hotel supports local businesses and its founding was a part of the revitalization of the historic South Loop area, while making it accessible for a diverse set of travelers. Surrounded by the McCormick Place, Chinatown, and the United Center, its location makes it ideal for traveling to any part of the city, whether you're in the area for work or pleasure. With recently upgraded guest rooms, Chicago South Loop Hotel is a mix of comfort and luxury, perfect for any type of visitor. The Clevedale Inn, Spartanburg, South Carolina. If you're interested in traveling to South Carolina for a relaxing stay, look no further than the Clevedale Inn in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Originally a private residence built in the 1900s, Clevedale Inn was founded by innkeepers Paul and Vicki Kane, who transformed the historic home into a charming bed and breakfast. The couple who have backgrounds in education and hospitality built Clevedale into a luxurious retreat while preserving its rich history and Southern charm. With only five rooms, you'd have to book early to take your pick of one of their themed rooms. While they have bridal suites to accommodate for weddings, you could also choose their Hawaiian-inspired Ohana suites. Regardless of your reason for visiting, the Clevedale Inn is a relaxing inn 
with beautiful outdoor scenery. The Henderson Beach Resort and Spa, Destin, Florida. A part of the Salamander Hotels and Resorts, the Henderson Beach Resort and Spa in Destin, Florida is guaranteed to give you a luxurious stay. Founded by Sheila Johnson, CEO of Salamander Hotels and Resorts, the Henderson Beach Resort is part of Johnson's effort to diversify luxury hospitality. As the first African-American woman to wholly own a portfolio of luxury hotels, her work in creating the Henderson is rooted in offering a unique experience blending nature and relaxation. With rooms that look over the Gulf Coast, you can spend the afternoons watching the sunset over the water or wake up in balcony rooms to the smell of the sea. The location offers tons of resort and local activities and guests can find a mix of fun and relaxing options for everyone, young and old. The Ivy Hotel, Mount Vernon, Maryland. Consider Baltimore's hidden gem. The Ivy has 17 beautiful guest rooms and suites. In addition to a luxury spa, the hotel also offers guests charming public spaces and the property's very own bistro. The Ivy Hotel gives visitors a comfortable, luxurious place to stay while being able to explore Baltimore's rich history and neighborhoods. The Ivy Hotel is owned by Eddie and Sylvia Brown, Baltimore philanthropists and entrepreneurs. Eddie Brown, the founder of Brown Capital Management, is known for his generosity in preserving the history and beauty of Baltimore. The Ivy reflects their dedication to creating luxurious yet intimate spaces that serve as a retreat in the bustling city. Janen Tamzna, Marrakesh, Morocco. If Marrakesh has been on your bucket list, Janen Tamzna is a boutique hotel with a lot to offer. Founded by Marianne Lou Martin, a Parisian lawyer turned hotelier, the boutique hotel stands as a beacon of Afro-European culture in the heart of Morocco. Lou Martin was one of the first black women to own and operate a luxury hotel in Marrakesh. She designed the hotel to celebrate her mixed heritage, offering a cultural experience infused with Moroccan hospitality. While you can choose one of their individual rooms, those looking to embrace the life of luxury can opt for their private villa rentals. The hotel offers tons of unique experiences from magic classes and calligraphy for children to bike rides and botanical gardens for the adults. La Creole Beach Hotel and Spa, Gaussier, Guadeloupe. La Creole Beach Hotel and Spa can be found on the seaside and is the perfect location for relaxation. The hotel and spa is a family-run business managed by local entrepreneurs who aim to bring the island's rich Creole culture to the forefront. The hotel's founders wanted to offer visitors a luxurious experience while promoting the island's culinary and cultural heritage. Founded in Guadeloupe, guests can take advantage of the comfortable rooms and suites, the La Creole Spa, and the hotel's restaurants and bars. La Maison in Midtown, Houston, Texas. Built in 2010, La Maison in Midtown is a three-story bed and breakfast located in the heart of Houston. This boutique bed and breakfast was founded by Sharon Owens, a Houston native, who wanted to provide travelers with a luxurious yet cozy home away from home experience. Inspired by European travel, Owens designed La Maison with attention to detail and hospitality offering guests an elegant, intimate setting in Houston. Small in size, but large in character, the bed and breakfast has seven beautifully decorated rooms with a slight European flair. A short distance from Houston's downtown, there's tons to see and do if La Maison in Houston is a stop on your list.
La Maison Michelle, St. James, Barbados. Located on the Caribbean island of Barbados, La Maison Michelle is a combination of elegance, sophistication, privacy, and warmth. Founded by Michelle and Wayne Capaldi, La Maison Michelle is a luxurious boutique villa combining contemporary Caribbean design with classic luxury. The couple, both with Barbadian roots, set out to offer high-end accommodations while honoring their heritage through the villa's architecture and service. With an array of luxury suites surrounded by beautiful pools, guests can easily get lost in the meals provided by their on-site staff who make authentic Barbados cuisine that combines African, West Indian, and European tastes. Maison du Puy, New Orleans, Louisiana. Just two blocks from Bourbon Street, the Maison du Puy is housed in a quiet residential section of the French Quarter. This means you get the best of both worlds with a quiet place to lay your head just minutes away from the most exciting area of the city. Maison du Puy is locally owned and operated, keeping the spirit of New Orleans alive in its French Quarter setting. The family that owns the property focuses on preserving the city's historic charm while offering modern luxury, making it a prime destination for visitors seeking authentic New Orleans hospitality. Not only does the hotel offer balcony rooms that overlook their courtyard or the French Quarter, but their newly renovated courtyard now includes one of the largest swimming pools in the French Quarter. The Oak Bluffs Inn, Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. If you're headed up to Martha's Vineyard, the Oak Bluffs Inn is a local favorite. Owned by Marcus and Andrea Beverly, the historic inn has been a black owned staple on Martha's Vineyard for years. The couple has made it a destination for travelers, particularly those within the Black community, offering a serene retreat while maintaining the local charm. With past guests like Spike Lee, Wynton Marsalis, and Woody Harrelson, the small inn has an ideal location. The beaches are within walking or biking distance, and you'll also have access to the area's delicious seafood restaurants. Ocean West Boutique Hotel, Nassau, Bahamas. Found nestled in the Caribbean, the Ocean West Boutique Hotel is a 10-room hotel that offers great views of Lake Killarney to the south and the Atlantic Ocean to the north. Founded by Bahamanian entrepreneur Valerie Gittins, the Ocean West Boutique Hotel is a passion project that reflects the rich culture of the Bahamas. Gittins wanted to offer a more intimate, personalized experience for travelers, distinguishing the boutique hotel from the large chain resorts typical of Nassau. Located on the Bahamas' most popular island, your biggest decision will be whether to dip your toes in the ocean or in the beautiful pool on the premise. FYI, the answer is both. RLJ Canadian Resort, Monrovia, Liberia. If your travels are taking you to Africa, visit the RLJ Canadian Resort in Monrovia, Liberia. This resort was founded by Robert L. Johnson, the billionaire entrepreneur who also founded BET. RLJ Canadian Resort is a part of his company's vision to bring luxury and world-class hospitality to Liberia. Set on 13 acres, the resort is a testament to Johnson's commitment to African development and tourism. Located between the Roberts International Airport and downtown Monrovia, the four-star resort houses 78 rooms along 13 acres of land. The resort offers spa services, restaurants with authentic food, a pool deck for relaxing in the sun, and a beach bar for when you're ready to get the party started. Salamander Resort and Spa, Middleburg, Virginia. 
Whether you're headed there for romance or wellness, the Salamander Resort and Spa in Middleburg, Virginia is one place that'll please all its different visitors. Owned by Sheila Johnson, Salamander Resort and Spa is a part of her vision to offer luxury wellness experiences across the U.S. The resort is renowned for its equestrian programs and spa services, reflecting Johnson's personal interests in wellness and the outdoors. Listed by Forbes Travel Guide as the DMV's only five-star destination resort, guests can enjoy comfort, style, and excellent culinary experiences. Six Acres Bed and Breakfast, Cincinnati, Ohio. Small and quaint, Six Acres Bed and Breakfast is located in the College Hill area of Cincinnati, Ohio. Founded by Kristen Kitchen, Six Acres Bed and Breakfast was born out of her passion for hospitality and historic preservation. The inn, located on a former stop along the Underground Railroad, offers a unique blend of history and comfort, making it a chop choice for visitors to Cincinnati. Minutes from downtown, the small inn offers you the necessary basics for a relaxing stay. With beautiful grounds, a sun terrace, and a picnic area, you'll have your choice of unwinding in your room or in one of the many common areas. Sonesta Silicon Valley, Milpitas, California. If you're traveling to California Silicon Valley, the Sonesta Silicon Valley Hotel is minutes away from some of the biggest headquarters in the world, including Google, Apple, Intel, and Hewlett Packard. Owned by Sonesta International Hotels, which is part of RLJ Lodging Trust, founded by Robert L. Johnson. The Sonesta Silicon Valley reflects the entrepreneur's continued efforts to diversify the hospitality industry. The hotel offers high-tech amenities suited to the needs of Silicon Valley's business clientele. Just five miles from the San Jose International Airport, the hotel offers newly renovated rooms, Google Chromecast availability, and high-end bath products. Spice Island Beach Resort, Grandan's Grenada. With its name being an ode to Grenada's leading export of nutmeg, the Spice Island Beach Resort is a popular destination for weddings, honeymoons, and well-deserved getaways. Founded by Sir Royston Hopkins, a native Grenadian, Spice Island Beach Resort is one of the most popular and iconic luxury resorts in the Caribbean. Hopkins' vision was to offer a five-star experience that honored Grenada's natural beauty while showcasing its famous spices and culinary traditions. The recipient of the AAA Five Diamond Award, the resort offers breathtaking views of the beach, beautiful accommodations and dining options, and spa services to help its visitors relax. Yellow Block Bed and Breakfast, Brooklyn, New York. Described as a premium short-stay housing, Yellow Block Bed and Breakfast is located in the Bedford-Stuyvesant neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. Owned by Gordon Jackson, Yellow Block Bed and Breakfast was established as a way to bring affordable premium short-stay housing to Brooklyn's Bedford-Stuyvesant neighborhood. The founders sought to create a communal space that welcomes travelers while celebrating Brooklyn's vibrant culture. Able to sleep 25 people, the location is ideal for large groups that are traveling together. The space offers a communal kitchen, laundry, and an outdoor patio, and three floors of sleeping quarters. Now, I don't know about you, but we're ready to relax with a cocktail at any one of these hotels. Let us know where you're headed and be sure to leave some other Black-owned hotels and resorts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content 
that celebrate Black entrepreneurship and Black excellence. Don't forget to head to obws.com to discover thousands of Black-owned businesses you can support today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.